So what the heck is TDCS anyways? How does it work? What is it, what is it good for? And how it would work for you? I'm Claude, and I am the Daily Zapper. TDCS stands for Transcranial Direct Current Stimulation. I'm going to translate this uh, term here for you. It's a very basic term, but it's important in understanding what it actually, what's actually happening here. Transcranial means that once you put the pad on two spots in your head or one pad in your head and another one in your arm, the electricity is going to be penetrating through your skin, through your skull, transcranial, and it's going to reach from one point to the other. Direct current is very important. It is uh, uh, the type of electricity that you get from a AA battery, for example, right? In, in fact, we our devices, they use nine volt batteries, two of them. It is a very mild type of electricity that's used and our devices further regulates that electrical current to a level that is acceptable. So that's the direct current portion and stimulation is also important to understand. What's happening when you put a TDCS pad uh, on your head and you turn the device on and electricity starts flowing through your brain through the circuit completely, is that your brain cells are being exposed to electrical current. Now, what does that do to a brain cell? Uh, I'm not a neuroscientist. I did some studying on the subject. Of course, I understand. Uh, I have a layman understanding of it. And I'm just sharing this with you here in an informal setting. I'm not to, this is not to be taken as some sort of medical uh, advice or any kind of expert advice. The brain cell is protected by a barrier that protects it from the external environment. Brain cells are special because they communicate with each other using electricity, which is unlike any other, you know, nervous uh, cells. They're unlike other cells on the, in, in your body. They actually communicate with each other using electricity. When the brain cells are resting and they're not firing to communicate with each other, what's happening is they have a potential. They have an electrical potential to communicate with the cells that are nearby. They're capable of electrical discharge, so they get char they are charged up and they're ready to be used, right? They're standing by for your thoughts. When you expose brain cells to positive or anodal stimulation, they the, the membrane potential gets depolarized. What that does is it causes that membrane uh, potential uh, to become more excitable. It increases neuronal excitability. It causes them to fire more readily. It's almost like you're priming the pump a little bit, you know? So they become a little, they have a little extra electrical potential. And when they are used, they fire much more efficiently than they would if they didn't have that stimulation done. Say you're trying to learn something new or you're trying to eliminate depression or you're trying to minimize pain, that region of the brain stimulated with anodal stimulation will work more efficiently. On the opposite end, our device also has cathodal stimulation, the black connector, the negative side of your battery. When your brain cells are exposed to that type of electricity, they become hyperpolarized. Uh, what that does to them is they become less likely to fire. It's almost like you're taking the prime out of the pump. You're making them work less efficiently. That may be what you want to do, say, for example, if there's a region of your brain that's overly stimulated. You can't sleep at night. You have insomnia. Your brain can't quiet down. You put the TDCS pad with the, and with the cathodal stimulation, the black connector, there, that kind of lowers the chatter lowers the efficiency of those brain cells. They become less efficient, they fire less readily, and you get to have a more restful sleep. So that's the principle of activation. TDCS is a very simple uh, thing to understand. About our device, the reason why our device is a good choice, and I'm gonna insert that in because ultimately we are selling to DCS devices here. It's a completely analog device. So what happens is you have an analog knob that turns the, the stimulation up and down. And that curve is an actual curve, is a natural curve, not a micro-stepped curve. You know, when you have a digital signal processor, 
a digital device. Most devices out there are digital. They kind of micro step up and down. It's nicer to your body to have a smoother curve. Also, one of the fundamental things about our TDCS device is the meter. It's important to have a, a way to measure the device to make sure the device is properly calibrated and not delivering some crazy amount of electricity more than it's supposed to or not enough to get you the stimulation levels that you need to have to actual get, actual, actually get results. Without a, a built-in meter, there's no way to know for sure if the device is actually even working. You know, it's a black box. A lot of devices have an indicator light or a screen that shows 2.12 milliamps, 1.5 milliamps. But if you don't have a way to actually measure it, which they don't, and our device does, there's no way of knowing. Thank you for taking the time for to, to watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. And we'll be back next week talking about how to actually start a TDCS TDCS sh session. We're going to go through the process of setting it up, putting it on, starting it, and we're going to be uh, going through the whole session. I'm going to describe how, what it feels like, uh, how it's working, testing the device and showing you exactly how to operate it, how to set it up, and how to, to get it going next week. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you next time.